Welcome back to the next vlog. We are en route to Central Park. We're kind of having a bit of a shooting evening. Um, I'm in this really nice dress. I'll try and show you better when we get there and I actually have different shoes to put on. I just there. I want it to be comfy on the way there. I'm doing something with Magnum ice creams, which is really good because as you know, I'm such a sweet tooth. So it ties in really, really well, but we're just picking up the ice creams now. And then we've got to go shoot with them, which is a fun thing to be doing on a Wednesday evening. And we actually have an event with them tomorrow here in New York. They have this really cool store down in Soho. I'll bring you with me to that as well. Uh, Kevin, what are you doing? Killing the Magnum ice cream shit. We tried like three, three shops to get it and we couldn't find it and she finally found it and now we're like running to Central Park before it melts. Oh, the glam side of all these shoes. Well, we just came to the park and they had them in the little cart thing so there was no I'm need. From <laughs> There was no need, so now we have two. At least I can eat one now. <laughs> and we made it. Look how pretty the place is this evening. Oh my god. We're in the shop. I need the ice cream. How is it? Oh my god, it's actually so good. I can't wait to eat mine. It's currently resting there. Probably. It's super melted, but <laughs> I'm still gonna eat it. Which one's it? A bit dark. Double vanilla chocolate. Okay, next day, another day, another dress. I am very into summer dresses at the moment. This one's actually from last summer. I just love these ruffly sleeves. It sold it for me. Um, I'll leave links if I can find anything or like similar in the description box as always, like all the vlogs. But we're headed down to Soho. It's actually the evening, it's like five o'clock. Thursday evening um, we have the Magnum event this evening so I'm gonna pop in there first and then I'm gonna do some shopping because it's Kaylin's birthday this weekend um, and we've lots of like different nights out planned and just like activities so I want to get a few new bits and pieces just to kind of like add into my current stuff and yeah that's the plan um, a bit dreary again today. Yesterday evening was so nice in the park. Um, those shots turned out so, so nice. If you haven't seen it on my Instagram, I'll pop a little picture here and you can go over maybe and give me a like because <laughs> you definitely saw the behind the scenes. Um, but today's a bit gloomier, unfortunately, but it's not raining, it's still dry, so it should be fine. And it's really, really humid. I just put my hair straight. Um, I didn't even do anything with it and I just kind of popped on these earrings to distract from it and yeah, that's me. So I'll bring you down to Soho with us now. We are just going to jump in an Uber and head straight. Okay, we're running very late but we're on the way. I'll show you a little bit of New York where, where are we? Kind of Union Square direction. Stay one more night. Don't you know that my love is true? Let's make things right. I understand what you're going through. do a little bit of shopping now because it's Ken's birthday coming up this weekend um, I think I might run to Mango and maybe Zara and Zara of course first stop we're not like blown away but I picked up a few bits Ken picked up a few bits this is the one in Soho not my favorite one but just the one we're closest to today Cool. I'm really into this um, like shoulder trend that's kind of here and these like tight bottles. I like it in the mini dress. I've seen like loads of like long versions of this, but I really like the mini dress version. Okay, these are some of the next pieces. These are the jeans. Um, I like them. I just kind of want them to be a little bit more baggy. But I'm looking for like a straight leg kind of baggy up here, but they actually are quite a nice fit. Um, they're nice just with like flat shoes. So 
so let's see and then this is the top i saw it it kind of reminded me of my mom she loves these kind of things he kind of has like it goes in and then it goes out a little bit at the bottom i don't know i thought it was kind of nice it's a little bit oversized though for my liking like i guess i could tuck it in but i think you kind of lose the effect then won't you well yeah i guess you could no 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 not yet <laughs> um yeah i'm just looking for some easy tops like this but they can be kind of hard to find nice tops they can be hard to find so yeah i'll see i think about these two but i really loved the dress i'm just gonna get this plain white top and i'm gonna try on the shoes now Okay, I think it's a no for the shoes. They have like a silvery tint of them. I'm not sure if it's the lighting, but I don't like the silvery tone. I just want like a black and white pair. I thought they were just black and white striped, but they seem to have like a bit of a shine. Um, they are pretty comfy. Kind of a weird fit though. It's kind of like falling off a bit. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna leave these. straight into pajamas how cute is this little one from river island okay it's a little bit see-through <laughs> but it's cool isn't it um there's these little pom-poms i'm just putting away everything this place is a little bit of a mess um some new packages came while i was gone i have to open them if i have energy after dinner i'll go through what i bought a few bits in zara and i got other things too oh yeah i got a dress in top shop on sale i just put them all into the zara bag um so i'll show you them after dinner if i have <laughs> energy by then and if not i'll do kind of a mini haul in the morning and go through some of these things tomorrow was the first of june that is crazy and it's friday and it's the weekend already i do not know where this week went like i daily vlogged on monday because it's a bank holiday and that literally seems like two seconds ago i <laughs> actually i just put that vlog live today the one um from monday and like tommy was in loads of it like because he doesn't come in like a lot of my vlogs because like obviously he's at work and i work separately so we're not together the whole time and at the weekends i don't always vlog when we're together because we're spending time together but on monday i vlogged and we were spending the day together he has a really really funny sense of humor um and i'm always always laughing around him so it was good to get that in the vlog as well so yeah you seem to be really liking that and you like the daily vlog this is going to be a weekly one this one but well, kind of a weekly one probably like three or four days together um so hopefully you like this one too but anyway i'm gonna go now eat and then I'll check in later or else in the morning. Also, I am not a sparkling water person, but this is kind of like a craze here in New York. Like, loads of people that I follow here drink it. So I said I'd try it, and oh my god, it is so nice. It's just sparkling water with like real squeezed fruit, and I got the blackberry one. Oh my god, it's so nice. I got it in Trader Joe's. And Tommy kept me some dinner. He's so good. Um, it doesn't look very appetizing but this is like my favorite kind of dinner it's spaghetti with some veg sweet potato and that's like a veggie burger that's falling apart so good are you enjoying the album Kim? enjoying that song this isn't the new album this is the old album i know Good morning, next morning. Um, I obviously didn't do the haul and stuff last night, but I'm gonna do it now. I'm just gonna have some quick breakfast. I did my hair and makeup. I made a bit of more of an effort <laughs> this morning. Um, remember the last day when I curled my hair and like, I couldn't get the curls the way I wanted them? Well, this is the way I usually want them. So this is like two day old hair. So I washed my hair, today's Friday, I washed it on Wednesday. So this is like, the proper curls I, I like to go for and obviously now they'll fall a bit more but when I do them first I like to have them like quite tight and structured and then throughout the day they fall really nicely so I haven't put any product in just yet I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then I'll put in a few more products and um, I'll put some of the secret weapon to like smooth out the little bits and maybe even a little bit of dry shampoo too just to give it a bit more volume up the top too but this is like the actual curls i go for i was watching back that vlog the last day and those curls were bad i was like these people are going to think that i'm really bad at curling my hair but no this is what it's actually supposed to be plan for today what are we doing today we have a few more bits to shoot and just tie up before the weekend um because monday is kaylin's actual birthday so i don't really want her to have to work on monday on her birthday so we're going to try and get as much done today so that she can be free and we can do some fun stuff on monday we have a lot of shoots to do like loads of stuff coming up in june um 
video content and just regular shoots so we just have to try and get on top of it before the weekend and then I think we're gonna go out later on this evening um, to Brooklyn and then tomorrow night's kind of like the official like night out for her birthday and then Sunday we'll be doing stuff if any of you know Kaylin or if you followed me for a while she does birthdays like no one that I know <laughs> it's not just a one day one night celebration it's literally a whole weekend or a whole week sometimes depending so yeah it's gonna be a busy weekend so I want to just get all the work and kind of boring stuff done today and of course I'll vlog everything it's probably the last day I'll vlog in this one and then I'll put the weekend like a separate vlog so you can see what we get up to and where we go and stuff I'm gonna eat this now I'm just having very boring um a granola and that coconut milk yogurt that I've been having I actually really like it it's from Trader Joe's so yeah that is the plan and then I get a little update for this morning so I'll eat this now and then I'll go and show you the bits from yesterday put all the new bits um, here in the corner I also have like a bag reveal to show you which is exciting I actually forgot about that until this morning and then these are the bits I bought some deliveries um, a brand sent me some jeans so I'll just quickly really really quickly go through it all and I might actually try on the clothes for you as well just pop the camera up on the tripod so I can like quickly kind of actually show you without having to hold the camera but first of all these new jeans from a brand called Mavi um, there's like a plain kind of light wash pair these would be handy for like around the house and like working from home and stuff and then these ones I'm really excited about it's kind of like a boyfriend style white pair which I think could be cool because all my white pair they're kind of skinny um, and for travel and stuff it would be nice if they were like a little bit looser you know just to wear casually so I have them they're a brand yeah they're just called Mavi I think they just do like denim and jeans and stuff. They got in touch and I chose these two from them. Um, so yeah, I checked them out if you're looking for some new jeans. And then the big John Frieda box that I showed you. Oh my God, this is really heavy. Can have you open this? No. Whoa, this is heavy. Okay, so this is the front. It's like this really snazzy um, sequence and like, you know, the way you can change the color. <laughs> Very easily amused. So let me open this and see what's in here. Look at their frizzy stuff. Whoa. There is a lot of stuff in here. Okay, look at this. My battery's flashing, so I better hurry up. I have to recharge. Look at all these products. Wow. This is so much. And there's some new ones that I actually haven't tried yet. Um, oh, hairspray. That is what I wanted to try from them. I haven't tried their hairspray yet and I'm a big hairspray person and I use the other one um, the got to be one because I do think that that holds it so well but sometimes it makes it very very hard like after a while like you can really feel it so this one says that it's a firm hold hairspray so I'll definitely be trying that and let you know how it is because I'm always looking for a good hairspray but just not one that you can feel in your hair um, then there's shampoos, conditioners, more of the secret weapon um what else is in here styling foam i wonder is there a dry shampoo i actually am out of dry shampoo if they have some i'll be popping some in my hair <laughs> next what's this curl reviver oh clearly defined gel kaylin actually used this in miami and she really liked it defines and holds curls for polished styles interesting i might try that actually today and see how it is but that's that big package so i'll keep you updated on the hairspray especially and then I guess I'll show you the bag next. So I bought a new summer bag um, and then I'll do the Zara stuff and the other things that I bought and I'll try them on. So I'll do a little unboxing. It's from the brand Cult Gaia. It's a brand that got really popular over the last year. You might remember they have that bag. I'll put a picture on the screen. It's like that kind of strawy basket bag that like was absolutely everywhere on Instagram. And there's loads of like dupes for them now in different like high street stores and stuff. But basically that bag made this brand famous and ever since then they've just been really popular and bringing out new styles I actually didn't personally invest into that it bag at the time um I really liked it I just I don't know why I didn't get it in the end um but I don't know I just maybe at the time I just wasn't like looking for a bag with that or whatever but I recently found a bag from them that I absolutely adore and I got it I don't know if you'd call it designer like it's not cheap cheap like this bag was 230 dollars um so it's not like designer designer expensive like chanel ysl but it's not high street it's kind of like one of those brands in between and it comes like this in this like round box the packaging is very nice very good branding 
always knows that's up. Okay, I don't think this is gonna be everyone's cup of tea, um, but I was looking for a white bag, even Kellen's like turning around to see. Um, I was looking for a white bag and I just didn't have one. Like all my bags I have designer wise are black, camel and I have my burgundy Prada so kind of like wintry colors I know I do have my Chloe like my new Chloe bag um but I didn't have a white one and I didn't really know if I wanted to spend a crazy amount of money on a designer white bag because I'm really worried that it will get ruined I know people have them and I'm sure you can keep good care of them and stuff but I don't know it's just a little bit risky so I figured I'd go for like a mid-level white bag and this is the one I went for. Do you like it? It's cool, isn't it? Um, so this is it. It's like these basket, like strawy kind of bags are like so in at the moment. Um, and I saw this, it was actually my friend Cass. She's like a New York blogger. And she had this thing on her Insta stories where she was like buying like summer bags like this and she put up five. And this was the white one that she chose and she had pictures of it on her Instagram her wearing it and stuff and I was like okay wow I really 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 like that so I went online and I found it and I actually thought it was going to be more expensive because often these kind of it bags can be kind of expensive but around the 200 mark wasn't too too crazy and it is a bag that I'll be able to wear all summer and like it'll be so nice for holidays not really sure how much though it's actually gonna hold like oh that's cute though you open it here with this little thing and then you can put your stuff in there so not the most private of bags I won't be carrying around anything too secretive um but just a really cute one I think you'll have to see me style it up now with different outfits and I think she was kind of wearing it a lot just like this or you just like hold it by this part and obviously have it down by the side of you so probably not the most practical bag I'll ever buy but I think just a good statement white bag for the summer and even though it is quite statement like because it's like a white color it's still pretty classic in my eyes like I always say once I stick to my classic like range of colors even if the bag is a little bit more statement and a little bit more kind of trendy as such it's okay because the color is still a classic so yep, that is the bag. Stay tuned for how I'll style it. I might actually wear it today. We're going to shoot soon. I might try and style an outfit around it. And then finally, the things I picked up yesterday. So in the end, I actually only, I'll show you this second. I'll show you the Zara thing first and then I'll try and try them on afterwards. I'll just quickly show you them here first. So this is the dress. I got it in the end. I just really liked it. Um, me, me and Kellen actually both really liked it. So we're probably gonna kinda half share it. There was no point buying two of them. We're like pretty much the same size. She's a bit taller, but we, we make it work. Um, I really like it. I put it on my Instagram stories uh, in a poll and loads of you didn't like it. So, okay, the, I think the jury might be out a little bit, but I don't know, I think it's like a really classic one. And loads of people were saying that it's like Julia Roberts. Um, dress in Pretty Woman. You know when she goes shopping in that like really snazzy fancy boutique which like turned her away the first time? It's like that dress she wore so I just think it's really really chic and again very classic so I got that. I mightn't try that on because you saw that yesterday but I'll see. And then the only other thing I bought in Zara was the white top. These are just so handy. I have this in black as well. It's like a crop kind of style um, around neck and then it's a little bit low here but it's fine it's kind of like that nice flattering shape and I have the black one and I got the white and I just got the small size and it was $14.90 and this dress I got it in small as well and it was $49.90 just in case you're wondering will definitely be cheaper in euro for those of you lucky enough to have Zara in Ireland um, then I found this dress. We went into Topshop because Kellen was looking for a dress for the weekend and they were having a sale and I just spotted this. I didn't even try it on and I don't know what it's going to be like um, but it was down from $75 to $24 and I thought it'd be like a nice little one to have just handy. It's kind of hard to see it now on this but it's like metallic-y kind of material. The colours look a bit strange here but it's actually not as like crazy in person and then the sleeves are like this wide so it has like 70s vibes so I think with a belt and just simple shoes or like even like high boots I think it'd be really cool just to have for an event or even for this weekend in New York and then finally last but not least I found this skirt I love it I literally saw it it was the last one on the rack and it's kind of like the same vibes as the as the dress oh it's very bright now I'm not gonna be able to see it but 
it's this long white plain skirt and the, the top of it like oh it's really well I'll try this one on for you so you'll be able to see but the top is kind of um what would you call that like a little bit roughly and then the buttons are like a brown tone it's just really nice a really nice flow with like a really simple top um i just have this like vision for it so i'll try it on now and i'll show you but that's literally it that's everything that i bought i didn't go too crazy because to be honest i didn't see that much that i liked i actually wanted to buy a few more bits um just to like add into my own current wardrobe like for the summer now it's after getting really really hot here in new york so it's like you have to almost like change your wardrobe again but i didn't we didn't see loads of stuff but i might go again over the weekend or like next week but that's all for now anyway that will definitely keep me going so i'll pop some of these on and show you okay so this is the skirt i didn't even try it on in the shop but i absolutely love it i don't know exactly what i'm gonna wear with it i just popped on this is the black version of that zara top kill <laughs> um i don't know can i just to wear kind of like a stringy or like simple top i think that's probably what I will go for. It has um, this really nice belt. I kind of, it might be like the tiniest bit too big. It's a medium, it was the last one left but I was determined to make it work. But I think it's fine because it's like that flowy kind of look. And then the buttons are really nice on it too. Just a really nice summer skirt. I have probably like my Dior shoes with it or I could wear um, these new Zara sandals. Could be nice with it as well. Or even just like a plain brown shoe. I think you can definitely like dress this up or casual it down as well. So yeah, definitely going to keep this. I really like it. Okay, the light's not great now, but this is the dress. I actually think I really like it. I was on the fence about this because I hadn't tried it on. I was going to see today, but I think I like it. If you can see up close, it has these really nice little sparkly bits going through it and then I just put on a pair of gold shoes and my black YSLs I'm not sure which I'd go for and then I probably will wear a belt as well I think it needs to be brought in a little bit kind of in the middle because the sleeves are quite wide so I think this part needs to be a bit more fitted so I probably will wear a belt and I think I'm leaning towards the black shoes although I don't know kind of hard to tell in that light this one maybe is a bit better what do you think? Let me know. Black or gold? And we'll see. I might wear this tomorrow night. I'll see if I get anything else in the meantime, but definitely an option. Even this way too, actually, to show you. So nice. Um, the material, it looks like expensive, like like up close. Really, really nice. And it was $24. So if you're near a top shop, definitely have a look. So I'm going to get changed now into like what I'm actually going to wear today. And then we're going to head out um, and do a few of our shoots that are on our list and just make sure we have everything done basically and we also have to go through our storage room because i just launched this new giveaway thing today so basically for the whole month of june on instagram i'm going to be giving away like a prize every single day to one person because like our storage room i'm not even sure if i'm if i should show you because this place is crazy but i'll show you like the giveaway section basically all these drawers obviously besides medical <laughs> my mom did these of course she did and like this this section is like my stuff and like up here it's the stuff like spare for me but these four drawers are giveaway stuff there's like skincare hair um moisturizers tans and stuff and then this is like i'm pretty sure it's all makeup in there so i want to give that away and I also gave my mom a really big bag of stuff as well to bring back to Ireland. So between that stuff and the bag I gave my mom, I'm going to give away like little goodie bags every day um, throughout June. And all you have to do to enter, if you do want to enter, is on my Instagram. Um, you just go to my Instagram every day during June or a few days or one day and just like a picture that I posted that day and comment Retro Flame Fam. And I'll be picking one winner each day from the comments. So I usually post like one or two sometimes three um pictures per day on my instagram um so i'll go through all the comments and i'll pick out one winner every day and at the end of the week i'll send out those winners i'll send out their goodie bags to them the winners of that week those seven people and we'll do that for four weeks in june <laughs> so it's just a nice way for me to say thank you and clear out my storage area they're just sitting in there and i know that so many people will have better uses for them than me we have loads of stuff and as you see they're constantly coming in and we're constantly trying new bits and pieces so it's only right that I give some to you guys who support me and who follow me so if you do want to enter head over to my Instagram this will probably be live yeah this is like the start of June this will be live in a few days um 
So you have a whole month, you can comment every day, you can comment a few days, you can comment when you see it, but you can also turn on notifications on Instagram just in case like you never want to miss a post that I put up there if you like follow me over there and then you'll get notification when I post a picture and you can go on then and comment straight away so you have a good chance of winning that way definitely. So that's the update, so I'm going to get dressed now. Um, we got all that done this morning and we're going to just go through that storage a bit more later and just try and kind of get things into bundles. Um, and put things into sections so we can start posting them out next week and yeah so i'll just change now and i will check in again soon we're just down fifth avenue kind of area and um, we're just kind of running around doing a few bits and pieces with a few jobs to do a few places to call into and of course we were shooting as usual we actually walked like through the park um, did some shots in there I actually met a blogger that I know in there she's from Atlanta but I knew her from the Dallas Rewards Conference so randomly met her in there um, I met someone that I knew that, that followed Retro Flame as well in Zara yesterday so it's been a very nice couple of days getting to chat to everyone um, but yeah I think we're like, nearly finishing up here now I might just grab a coffee on the way home and then head back up and then we're gonna finish our work and then head out later back home and my River Island delivery for this month just arrived so many good things I spent the last while trying them on this is the result when I was doing it I was actually gonna like show you in this in this vlog but to be honest I think it needs its own separate video so I think what I'm gonna do in the morning is I'm gonna film um, a River Island haul I've never actually done just a River Island haul but this delivery I'm telling you it deserves its own video it is so good like I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at the shoes ignore the Dior's but look at these shoes perfect summer sandals there's like another pair where did I put them? I'm so sorry, it's just so messy. Anyway, there's like a slide on pair as well that are so good. So I'm gonna film that in the morning, so keep an eye out. That'll probably be the next video. Yeah, I might put that up live next while these are all like in stock and current. I'm gonna do a little bit more work now. I have an hour, like, and I have my hair and makeup done from the shoot, so I just have to like change my outfit and go, so I don't have that much to do for tonight. Two hours later, I'm changed and ready to go. I'm pretty casual, a plain black dress, Chloe boots, and my Chloe bag. This little necklace for Mad, and if you can see, the dress is like suede and it has these tassels. It's just like a really simple one. It's from Rebecca Minkoff. I'll just turn around and see if you can see. It's a bit dark in here. So this is me. Ignore all the shoes. I have things ready for to do a haul in the morning. Um, just a really simple black dress. It's really humid in New York today, so I just want to be very comfortable tonight. And we're just going to Brooklyn. Um, and I'm usually the one that's way too dressed up in Brooklyn like that's me so tonight I'm just keeping it simple <laughs> but yeah I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera with me because I don't have any room for it in this like tiny Chloe bag so I will leave this vlog here I hope you enjoyed it um Tommy actually isn't home yet he went straight to the game so I think they're gonna go meet us in Brooklyn and David as well and then all the girls are there so it should be a fun night now probably not a very late one because we're gonna do like a proper out out night tomorrow like proper dressed up um out for the night kind of situation but tonight just like casual kind of catch up with everyone so i'll leave it here hope you enjoyed as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying the vlogs i love doing the vlogs i know i say this so many times but i really do they're my favorite videos to do by a long shot and i will be vlogging the whole weekend as well for kellen's birthday i'm gonna go shopping together in the morning which will be nice and then head out tomorrow night and then i think she has some plans for sunday too so i'll definitely vlog as much as i can for the weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye.